안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. This is used to say hello in a polite manner. Again, 안녕하세요 is used to say hello in a polite manner. Next word is 안녕하십니까. Again, it's 안녕하십니까. This is used to say hello in a formal manner. Again, 안녕하십니까 is used to say hello in a formal manner. Next word is 감사합니다. Again, it's 감사합니다. This is used to say thank you in a formal manner. Again, this is used to say thank you in a formal manner. 죄송합니다. This is used to say I'm sorry in a formal manner. Again, 죄송합니다 is used to say I'm sorry in a formal manner. Next word is 저기요. Again, it's 저기요. This is used to say excuse me to call the attention of someone in a polite manner. Again, 저기요 is used to say excuse me. Next word is 잠시만요. Again, it's 잠시만요. This is used to say just a second and this can be used when you are trying to excuse yourself while passing through a crowd. Again, it's 잠시만요. Next word is 안녕히 가세요. Again, 안녕히 가세요. This is used to say goodbye when you are staying and this is used to address the person who is leaving. Again, it's 안녕히 가세요. Next word is 안녕히 계세요. And this is used to say goodbye when you are leaving and the person you are talking to is staying. Again, it's 안녕히 계세요. Next word is 고마워. Again, it's 고마워. This is used to say thank you in an informal manner. Again, 고마워 is used to say thank you in an informal manner. Next word is 안녕. Again, it's 안녕. This is used to say hello or goodbye in an informal manner. Again, 안녕 is used to say hello or goodbye in an informal manner. 반갑습니다. 반갑습니다. This is used to say nice to meet you in a shortened way. Again, 반갑습니다 is a shortened way of saying nice to meet you. Next word is 여보세요. Again, it's 여보세요. This is used to say hello while talking through a phone. Again, 여보세요 is used to say hello when you are talking through a telephone. Next word is 사과. Again, 사과. This is simply the Korean term for apple. Again, 사과 is the Korean term for apple. Next word is 돈. Again, it's 돈. This is the Korean term for money. Again, 돈 is simply money. Next word is 맥주. Again, this is pronounced as 맥주. And this is simply the Korean term for beer. Again, 맥주 is beer in Korean. Next word is 주세요. Again, it's 주세요. This is used to say, please give me. So this is more likely attached to another word to say that you are asking for that certain thing. So that's 주세요. Next word is 잘가. Again, 잘가. This is used to say go well or another way of saying goodbye to someone who is leaving a place. Again, 잘가 means go well. Next word is 잘 있어. Again, it's 잘 있어. This is used to say be well. And this is used when you are leaving the place. And you're more likely to say this to people that are staying on that place that you are leaving. Next word is 고맙다. Again, 고맙다. And this is a way of saying thank you in Korean. Again, 고맙다 is being thankful or simply used to say thank you in Korean. Next word is another way to say thank you. It's 고맙습니다. Again, 고맙습니다. 
And this is another formal way of saying thank you in Korean. This is another way of saying thank you. And this is used to say thank you in a polite but less formal way. Again, kamsayo means thank you. Next word is chotta. This is an adjective which means to be good, but this is also used to say that something is good. Again, chotta means good or to be good. The next word is kumane. Again, it's kumane. This is used to say stop it or enough in an informal manner. Again, it's kumane. Next word is chingu. Again, it's chingu. This is simply the Korean term for friend. Again, chingu is the Korean term for friend. Next word is komawoyo. Again, it's komawoyo. This is a polite way of saying thank you in Korean. Again, komawoyo is a polite way of saying thank you. Next is chakaman or chamkanman. And this is used to say wait a minute or hold on. Again, this word is chakaman or chamkanman, which means wait a minute. Next word is pali. Again, it's pali. This is used to say hurry up. Again, pali is used to say hurry up in Korean. Next word is kunyang. Again, it's kunyang. This is used to say just because or there is no specific reason. Again, kunyang means just because. Next word is itoba. Again, it's itoba. And this is used to say, see you later. Again, itoba is used to say, see you later in Korean. Next word is tobucha. Again, it's tobucha. This is used to say, see you again in Korean. Again, tobucha is used to say, see you again in Korean. This is used to say, please be nice to me, and this is more likely used on corporate settings. Again, it's chalbutak tirimnida. Next word is kabang. Again, it's kabang. This is simply the Korean term for bag. Again, kabang is bag in Korean. Next word is silyahamnita, and this is used to say excuse me, and this is more likely used to say excuse me or I'm sorry when you are going to disturb someone. So that is silyahamnita. Next word is saram, and saram is the Korean term for person. Again, saram is the Korean term for person. Next word is choyeo. Again, it's choyeo. And this is used to say, it is me or this is me. Again, choyeo is used to say, it is me. Next word is mul. Again, it's mul. And this is simply the Korean term for water. Again, the Korean term for water is mul. Next word is hakyo. Again, this is pronounced as hakyo. And this is the Korean term for school. Again, hakyo is the Korean term for school. Next word is check. Again, it's check. And this is the Korean term for book. Again, check is the Korean term for book. Next word is anio. Again, 
This is pronounced as anio, and this is a polite way of saying no in Korean. Again, anio is no. Next word is ne or te, and this is used to say yes in a polite manner in Korean. Again, ne or te is used to say yes. Anieo. Anieo. This is used to say it is not in Korean. Again, anieo is used to say it's not in Korean. Next word is hakseng. Again, it's hakseng. And this is the Korean term for student. Again, hakseng is the Korean term for student. Next word is koyangi. Again, this is pronounced as koyangi. And this is the Korean term for cat. Again, koyangi is the Korean term for cat. Next word is shigan. Again, it's shigan. This is the Korean term for time. Again, shigan is the Korean term for time. Next word is chip. Again, it's pronounced as chip. And this is the Korean term for house or home. Again, chip is the Korean term for house or home. Next word is piane, and this is used to say, I'm sorry, in an informal manner. Again, miane or piane is used to say, I'm sorry. Next word is chongmal. Again, this is pronounced as chongmal, and this is used to say, really or very much. Again, chongmal is used to say, really or very much. Next word is isoyo. Again, isoyo. And this is used to say there is, it exists, or I have. It is also used to indicate that something is at a certain location. Next word is opsoyo. Again, it's opsoyo. And this is used to say there is no or I don't have. It is also used to say that something is not at a certain location. So that's of soil. Next word is chon maneo. Again, it's chon maneo. And this is a way of saying you're welcome when someone thanks you. Again, chon maneo means you're welcome. Sugo haseo. Sugo haseo. This is used to say keep up the good work in Korean. Again, sugo haseo is used to say keep up the good word. Next word is achim. Again, this is pronounced as achim. And this is the Korean term for morning. Again, achim is morning. Next word is manada. Again, it's manada. And this is a verb which means to meet. Again, manada means to meet. Next word is idem. Again, this is pronounced as idem. And this is the Korean term for name. Again, idem is name. Next word is boyeo. Again, it's boyeo. And this is used to say, what is it? Again, boyeo or moyeo is used to say, what is it? Next word is kada. Again, it's kada. This is a verb which means to go. Again, kada means to go. Next word is hada. Again, this is pronounced as hada. This is a verb which means to do. Again, hada means to do.
Next word is ulta. Again, it's ulta. This is a verb which means to cry. Again, ulta means to cry. Next word is kacha. Again, this is pronounced as kacha. And this is used to say, let's go in an informal manner. Again, kacha means let's go. Next word is kapshita. Again, this is pronounced as kapshita. And this is another way of saying let's go, but this is a formal way of saying let's go. Mokta. Mokta. This is a verb which means to eat. Again, mokta is a verb which means to eat. Next word is mashita. Again, it's mashita. This is a verb which means to drink. Again, mashita means to drink. Next word is utta. Again, it's utta. And this is a verb which means to smile or to laugh. Again, utta means to smile or laugh. Next word is kwenchana. Again, this is pronounced as kwenchana. And this is used to say it's okay in an informal manner. Again, kwenchana means it's okay. Next word is kwenchansumnida. Again, this is pronounced as kwenchansumnida. And this is a formal way of saying it's okay. Again, kwenchansumnida means it's okay. Next word is alta. Again, it's alta. This is a verb which means to know or understand. Again, alta means to know or to understand. Next word is araso. Again, it's araso. This is an informal way of saying, I understand or I got it. Again, araso is used to say, I understand. Next word is kotta. Again, it's kotta. This is a verb which means to walk. Again, kotta means to walk. Next word is nachunge. Again, it's nachunge. This is used to say later in Korean. Again, nachunge means later. Next word is aboji. Again, it's aboji. And this is the Korean term for father. Again, aboji means father. Omoni. Omoni. This is the Korean term for mother. Again, omoni is mother. Next word is oppa. Again, it's oppa. This is used to say brother. And this is more likely used by a younger sister to call his older brother. Next word is young. Again, it's young. This is another way to say brother, but this is used by a younger brother. Again, young means brother. Next word is only. Again, it's only. And this is used to say sister, and this is used by a younger sister. Again, only is used to call your older sister if you are a girl. Next is Nuna. Again, it's Nuna. And this is used to call your older sister if you are a younger brother. Again, Nuna means older sister. Next word is Onje. Again, it's Onje. And this is used to ask when. So if you're asking about a date or time, you can use Onje. 
Next word is oda. Again, it's oda. And this is a verb which means to come. Again, oda means to come. Next word is irona. Again, it's irona. And this is used to say wake up or get up. Again, irona is used to say wake up or get up. Next word is onel. Again, it's onel. And this is used to say today. Again, onel means today. Next word is nail. Again, it's nail. And this is used to say tomorrow. Again, nail means tomorrow. Oje. Again, this is pronounced as oje. And this is used to say yesterday. Again, oje means yesterday. Next word is chikum. Again, it's chikum. And this is used to say now. Again, chikum means now. Next word is aka. Again, it's aka. And this is used to say a while ago today. Again, aka means a while ago today. Next word is odi. Again, it's odi. And this is used to say or ask where. So if you wanted to ask for a place or location, you can use odi. Next word is otokhe. Again, it's otokhe. And this is used to say what to do. Again, otokhe is used to say what to do. Next word is otoke. Again, otoke. And this is used to ask how. Or this is used to ask about the manner of doing something. Again, otoke is used to ask how. Next word is tsukahamnida. Again, it's tsukahamnida. And this is used to say congratulations. Again, tsukahamnida means congratulations. Next word is we. Again, we. And this is used to ask why. Or if you wanted to ask for the reason for something. Again, we means why. Next word is morida. Again, morida. And this is a verb which means not to know or to not know. Again, morida means not to know. Next word is molla. Again, it's molla. And this is used to say, I don't know in an informal manner. Again, molla means I don't know. Sesangi. Sesangi. And this is a Korean term for world. Again, sesangi means world. Next word is nugu. Again, it's nugu. And this is used to ask who. Or if you wanted to ask about a person. Again, nugu means who. Next word is harabochi. Again, it's harabochi. This is used to say grandpa in Korean. Again, harabochi is grandfather. Next word is harmony. Again, it's harmony. And this is used to say grandma or grandmother in Korean. Again, harmony is grandma. Next word is nampyon. Again, it's nampyon. And this is the Korean term for husband. Again, nampyon means husband. 
Next word is ane. Again, ane. And this is a Korean term for wife. Again, ane means wife. Next word is pumo. Again, it's pumo. And this is the Korean noun, which means parents. But if you wanted to address your parents, you can use pumonim. Again, pumo means parents. Next word is tal. Again, tal. And this is the Korean term for daughter. Again, tal is the Korean term for daughter. Next word is adel. Again, it's adel. And this is a Korean term for son. Again, adel is used to say son in Korean. Next word is sonja. Again, sonja. And this is a Korean term for grandchild. Again, sonja means grandchild. Talla. Again, it's talla. This is an adjective which means different. Again, talla means different. Next word is hajima. Again, it's hajima. This is used to say don't do it or stop doing it. Again, hajima means don't do it. Next word is gajima. Again, it's gajima. This is used to say, don't go. Again, gajima means don't go. Oren mania. Again, oren mania. This is used to say, long time no see in Korean. And take note that this is an informal way of saying long time no see. Next word is mukbang. Again, it's mukbang. And this is the Korean term for eating broadcast. Again, mukbang means eating broadcast. Next word is sarange. Again, sarange. And this is used to say, I love you in Korean. Again, sarange is used to say, I love you. Next word is gongbu. Again, it's gongbu. And this is the Korean term for study or studies. Again, gongbu means study. Next word is undong. Again, it's undong. And this is the Korean term for exercise. Again, undong is exercise. Next word is ge. Again, it's ge. And this is a Korean term for dog. Again, ge means dog. Next word is chincha. Again, it's chincha. This is used to say really in Korean. Again, chincha or chincha means really.